everyone. This is Stephen Clark from Thailand Unplugged. Hope you're all fit and well. The key players to watch in Thailand's political upheaval. The biggest anti-government protest in years. With a youth-driven movement declaring everyone participating as a possible leader. Just made up a list of who's who players of interest to keep your eye on who will play a vital role in shaping the outcome of the land of smiles. There are key players to watch in the protest in Thailand at the moment. Um, anybody could emerge the leader. Yes, Thailand's besieged by biggest anti-government protest in years with a youth-driven movement declaring every participant as a leader. That's making it tough for authorities to wear down the pop-up demonstrations calling for the government's oisting and monarchy reforms. The mass gatherings are set to continue after demonstrators rejected Prime Minister Priyat Chinachat's overture for a truce by revoking a state of emergency in Bangkok and convening a special parliament session to discuss the protests. The activists have threatened to intensify protests if the Premier a three-day deadline to quit is not met. At the centre of the growing political tensions is the pro-democracy movement, comprising mostly of millennial professionals and university students, as well as the establishment headed by Priyat Chinacha and the monarchy. Here are the players who will play a vital role in shaping the outcome of the protest moments. King Kong, or Rama Ten, if you like, the current king of Thailand. At the apex of power in Thailand, the Thai king Rama Ten has been consolidating his power and wielding his authority more overtly since taking the throne in 2016. King Rama Ten's wealth, in particular, has become a source of resentment with protesters demanding more government control over royal assets. That includes land holdings, a sizable chunk in two of the nation's biggest listed companies, Siam Commercial Bank and Siam Cement Company. Demonstrators are also questioning taxpayers' funds that go toward royal affairs, as well as laws that stifle decisions of the monarchy. Priyat Achinachar, the face of the current administration, Priyat is a former army chief who took power after the 2014 coup. His military government appointed a panel to draw the current constitution, which protesters view as instrumental in helping Priyat retain his power after the 2019 general election. Priyat's overtures to end the protests have failed to convince the activists to stop the protests. While his government is open to rewriting unspecified parts of the constitution, Priyat has rejected calls to resign. The former general says the government's key task is to look after the needs of everyone in the country. The youth groups, the protesters, are banding together under different groups, such as Free Youth United Front which uses social media platforms such as Facebook and Twitter and telegrams to mobiles in short notice. While the movement has several well-known faces, everyone shows up for the protest as a leader, according to Pom Prom, one of the protesters' organisers, that allows the movement to protest even after the arrest of dozens of its activists. And the apolitical nature of the group has helped draw support from all sections of society. Thanathorn, a banned opposition leader of the Future Forward Party. Thanathorn is a very vocal critic of the present government of Priyat Chinacha and the footing of the current budget of King Rama X and the royal family. He lost to Priyat's government in the vote to elect a prime minister last year and it looked like he would have a landslide victory which surprised the whole country. And there are rumours floating around that the election was rigged. His political party was disqualified by a court order for breaking financial rules. The disillusion started the first wave of pro-democracy protests that faded following a lockdown to curb coronavirus infections. 
before restarting again mid-July. He has stood by the protesters and said Priyat's government won't last its full term. The Shinawatras. The siblings were both elected Premier but were toppled in military coups. Thaksin in 2006 and Yinlok in 2014. Although they live in exile, the two retain significant support in rural and poorer parts of Thailand. Thaksin Shinawatra is a Thai businessman and a politician and a visiting professor. He served in the Thai police from 1973 to 1987 and was the Prime Minister of Thailand from 2001 to 2006. Tuxen founded the mobile phone operator AIS and a string of other companies which made him one of the richest people in Thailand. Tuxen declared war on drugs in which more than 2,500 people were killed. Tuxen's government launched programs to reduce poverty, expand infrastructure, promote small and medium-sized enterprises and extend healthcare coverage. Tuxen took a strong arm approach against the separatist insurgents in the Muslim South province. After being oysted from power, he was found guilty of corruption in 2008 and is now living in self-exile. Yinyok Shinawatra, youngest of nine children and her eldest brother is the former Prime Minister Tuxen Shinawatra. Yinyok Shinawatra made history when she became Thailand's first female Prime Minister in 2011 on a wave of popular support. But she was plagued by criticism over her running of the country and her links to her brother, former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawatra. Her time in office ended unceremoniously in early May 2014 when the Constitutional Court forced her to step down after finding her guilty of abusing her powers. The army later overthrew her government in a coup and formed the present military-backed government of Thailand. She was tried in 2016 but did not appear in court. In September 2017, she was found guilty in absence and sentenced to five years in prison. Both the Shinawatras still today are active in Thai politics, so keep your eye on them too. Arnon Nampa, or what's affectionately known as the Penguin. Well, he was the first protest leader to openly question the monarchy and their role in Thailand's politics. His call for the monarchy's power to be reined in became the catch cry for protest movements throughout Thailand. Even though criticism of the top royals is punishable by a 15-year jail term, the Penguin has been arrested in multiple occasions on charges including sedition, which can lead to a jail sentence of as many as seven years. But the 36-year-old activist from northeastern Thailand was inspired by many young Thais to break the deeply taboos on publicly calling for a reduction of power of King Rama X. So these are the main players in the protests at the moment. Keep your eye on them because the Academy Awards are coming up shortly and some of the cast have put on some excellent performances. Well, uh, who's your favourite performer? Tell us what you think in the comments section below.